Hi guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, this is just a quick introduction video uh, to Bomb Tools for Inventor. Okay, so Bomb Tools is a bill of materials exporter uh, for Autodesk Inventor. Um, what makes it so unique is uh, that you can export the thumbnail image property of each part in the assembly's uh, bill of materials into Excel. Uh, but along with that, uh, you get some of the other part properties exported into Excel as well. One of the new features of BOM tools um, is uh, the ability to also now export part parameters um, into Excel at the same time. Uh, this includes sheet metal flat pattern extent parameters like uh, your width, uh, length and thickness of your uh, flat patterns. Um, so in a nutshell, BOM tools for Inventor, uh, you can export to Excel um, all part properties, parameters, and sheet metal extends information, including a thumbnail image of each part um, in your inventor assembly or bill of materials. Uh, this gives you a great tool uh, to use for downstream processing purposes. Okay, so let's go ahead and export something. So first of all, what I want to do is uh, just export uh, uh, all the components in my structured bill of materials um, in this assembly. Um, now the way BOM Tools works is uh, the assembly that you've got open um, or the active assembly inside Inventor um, is the one that's going to be used uh, for exporting uh, uh, the bill of materials. Alright, so this one is going to be active for now, so I'm going to export the structured bill of materials of this assembly. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do any settings at this point. Um, I'll go through the other options uh, just now. So very simply. I'm going to export, uh, click the export button. Um, you will see that uh, BOM tools will also pick up the current active assembly name um, from Inventor and it will give you the option to save your Excel file with that same name. Um, so I'm going to just uh, head over to the temp folder and just save it over there, overwrite. As you can see there it goes. Alright, and very quickly you've got your uh, bill of materials uh, exported from Inventor into uh, into Excel. As you can see, there's all the images, um, and obviously, what you can do as well, you can rename um, or resize, sorry, the uh, images at this point if you need to. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's look at something else. Um, Alright, so let's do a, a parts only this time around and um, at the same time what we want to do is maybe include some parameters um, as well as uh, sheet metal uh, extents. I've got another assembly that we're going to do the sheet metal extents on. Uh, this assembly actually contains sheet metal parts. So what I want to do is uh, I want to maybe just add some custom parameters um, uh, into this list. So uh, the way this works is this is a scan button. Um, this will scan the parts that's open in this assembly and it'll give you some of the part parameters in this list. If there's something that's in one of the parts that you can't find there, you can always manually type it in. So let's just say for instance sake I want to add um, D0 and I also want to add maybe another parameter called uh, let's say thick. Okay, so you can manually type it in or you can just select it from the list and uh, add it into your into this list to be exported. So these will to be two extra columns that will be exported into the Excel file. Alright, so parts only with those two parameters. Let's have a look. Export, I'm going to go and export it to the same folder again. As you can see now, there will be a couple more parts. Alright, so there we go, same thing, um, it opens Excel once it's done and you'll see all the parts will now be exported um, into the Excel file and at the same time you'll have the two uh, extra columns that you specified. Um, if it can't find a thick parameter, that's the custom parameter that we specified, if it can't find it inside the component, it will just leave the cell blank. Um, now in this case there is actually no thick parameter in any one of those parts but anyway you get the idea alright there's the D0 like for instance in this component over here there's no D0 parameter um, so it's left it blank 
Right, so very easily you can customize the parameters that, uh, that's also exported from, uh, uh, from Inventor into, into Excel. All right, so uh, with the next one, let's try a sheet metal assembly this time. All right, so I'm going to just switch over to the uh, sheet metal assembly I've got open in the background. Uh, what makes this assembly uh, quite unique is that um, some of the sheet metal parts, now this is a, quite an important uh, uh, topic, some of the sheet metal parts will have a flat pattern um, already uh, created inside it. All right, what I mean by that is, uh, if I can just show you an example, let's open this component here for instance. You'll notice that it's it's a 100% complete sheet metal component, but there's no flat pattern um, created inside this part yet. So there's no flat pattern def definition inside this component. So by, by that I mean it, you have to actually normally manually create a flat pattern um, inside uh, while the part's open uh, for that definition to be to exist in your component. All right. So some of what I'm saying is some of the components inside this um, assembly um, do not actually have flat pattern definitions. Now, that's not a problem. Um, with uh, BOM tools, you can still export um, your sheet metal extents from those components. BOM tools will just manually uh, or automatically each time create the flat pattern definition for each part um, that uh, actually do not uh, uh, have a flat pattern definition. All right, so let's have, have a look at that quickly. All right, so I'm going to go uh, parts only again. Um, this time around, I'm going to take all the parameters out. I'm just going to include all the sheet metal extents uh, information. All right, so let's do that again. Um, so same folder. All right, yes. Okay, so you will get this message, flat pattern definition missing. All right, so BOM tools has detected that some sheet metal parts do not contain flat patterns. BOM tools will now try and create the flat patterns. For faster exporting, create the flat pattern definitions while designing. All right, so it's just giving you a heads up, um, saying that some, it's detected that some of the parts um, don't have the flat pattern definitions inside them. Um, but you will now see that uh, while it's exporting, it's going to be creating those definitions for you as well. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, it would it will now open each part that uh, do not have a flat pattern definition and it will actually create the flat pattern for you for the parts where it's missing. All right, and once it's done, it opens Excel and uh, you can then see there's all the flat pattern information, sheet metal length, width and thickness um, parameters. At this point, I might as well mention that it it uh, bomb tools do support um, uh, imperial units as well not just uh, metric so that should be uh, fine for our American friends over there all right so let's uh, close that all right uh, guys so that's it so if you uh, uh, want to have a look at it uh, please go over to uh, our tools for inventor website download it and just activate a 15-day trial um, and uh, you can try it out yourself. Thank you.